a look at our weather right now. And Kelly, what do you see for today? Uh, well, we are looking at a cloudy start here for many spots around the Portland metro area. As you look towards the west, we are getting a bit of clearing now. Uh, but again, today we'll see some clouds around for the morning hours and possibly a drizzle squeezed out of those clouds for neighborhoods here and out towards the coast as well. Take a look at Seaside. We're pretty sucked in with those clouds. Out towards Mount Hood Meadows, you can see some blue skies are trying to break on through. So clouds are around this morning on the west sides of the Cascades. Up in A. Lene, out of Ridgefield, you can see it's pretty cloudy to start there up north. So again, a mostly cloudy morning ahead. Still great for a walk. We are mainly dry right now and temperatures in the upper 50s here to low 60s for some spots. Right now sitting at 59 degrees at PDX. 56 up in Battleground out towards Camas and the foothills here are uh, looking at temperatures mainly in the uh, mid to upper 50s. So moving forward, it will stay mainly cloudy here for our morning hours. We'll start to break out of those clouds by the afternoon noon or early evening here. And today also stays cooler. We'll see our highs only in the mid 70s, but we do see a big warm up on the way as we head our way towards this week. So I'll detail that out in a few moments here, but let's check on our air quality. Still seeing some good levels here all across the state, even though we do have some large fires burning out in areas of the Cascades. The White River fire right now just near Mount Hood is one that we're going to watch as we move forward here. It's over 14,000 acres in size, and as we move into today, we'll see a lot of that smoke still pushing towards towards uh, the uh, southeast and out towards areas of central Oregon. So here's our smoke forecast that shows the transport of that smoke as those fires continue to burn and a lot of that smoke will head towards areas down south through central Oregon. So uh, through today, I do see at times that we may get air quality dropping out towards central Oregon, mainly as we look towards Portland and out towards areas of the valley, not really seeing too much impact from those wildfires burning, maybe some high level haze, but that's about it. We'll likely keep that smoke on the east sides of the Cascades and also further south as we move towards this week. And unfortunately, we do see dry weather setting up a good stretch of dry days ahead with some heat building in. So that is not looking good here for our fire situation. And I assume we'll see some fire weather watches in place all across the Cascades and on the east sides as we move forward. But no alerts in place just yet. Let's talk about that rain here. This morning time, we'll see possibly a drizzle squeezed out mainly north of the valley here and out towards the coast, possibly in the foothills too. But things do dry up quickly as that weak system that came in overnight here works out the door and high pressure starts to rebuild. So we're back to sunshine by our afternoon, even today looking fairly sunny on this weather model and heading into Tuesday and beyond, likely some morning clouds. Then we clear out the valley staying very sunny as we build in some heat this week. And the reason we'll see some heat is this ridge of high pressure that continues to work on in. So it's well offshore now, but it starts to shift east and inland here over the Pacific Northwest as we head towards our Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So we'll see some heat working in from the south paired with that ridge of high pressure here. Little rain on the uh, in our seven day forecast here with lots of sunshine. So do expect that heat to really crank as we head towards the middle of the week and beyond. And right now we do have a heat advisory in place down south towards the Rogue Valley out to Roseburg too. We'll see temperatures possibly in the triple digits by Tuesday afternoon through Thursday. So we'll be tracking the heat. It'll first head towards the uh, southern portions of the state before reaching Portland and beyond. So today still staying fairly cool. The mid 70s for our highs today. We'll see sunshine by the afternoon, the coast staying mostly cloudy today with highs in the upper 60s. So here's that seven day forecast you can see today fairly pleasant. So enjoy it. Go for that run. But as we head towards Wednesday and beyond any outdoor activities by the afternoon, it'll get a little hot to be outside. We'll see the low 90s likely by Thursday and continuing into our Labor Day weekend. Carly.